right? It is, uh, it's technically Saturday, but it's Friday the 13th evening, the evening of Friday the 13th, Saturday morning, very early. We made it to Mon- Montgomery. Yeah, Montgomery. Not Birmingham, but Montgomery. <laughs> Not Birmingham, Montgomery, Alabama. Um, after a 567 mile day? Uh, 600 657 miles. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, yeah. We are one day away from being home mm-hmm. after, and that'll be a full, that'll be a four, four week trip. Yeah. Okay. So we're at the conclusion. We were going to go out in Montgomery and party a little bit to mm-hmm. celebrate. <laughs> and apparently all of Montgomery shuts down at midnight. So... No party in for us. Mm-hmm. There's no mini bar in this extraordinarily nice hotel that you brought us to. Yes. Um, and, and we couldn't find anything open. And room service ended it. And room service ended an hour before we were ready to get it. Yeah. So our celebration consists of sitting here and watching TV. Which, whatever. Um, best part of today. <laughs> Worst part of today. Goal for tomorrow. Jeez, uh, best part of today was probably the restaurant in uh, Mobile. Mobile. Uh, Do you remember the name of that restaurant? Uh, the it was well, we actually were in the. It was the liquid. Liquid, liquid state. Liquid state is what it was called. I think so. Yeah. That's a, that's a nice. We were name. aiming for the bicycle shop, which was right next door. All right. Um, but I think we actually ate the liquid state food, which was kind of a sushi fusion bar. Mm-hmm. And it was, yeah, yeah I don't know if. If later on it'd be great, but for tonight it was fantastic. And yeah. It uh, really hit the spot. First actual vegan meal I've had. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, was, it was good. Yep. Um, yep. Worst part of the day? I don't know. Some guy almost ran me over in the in that uh, was, coming out of Houston. Though. Yeah, that was pretty intense. That wasn't, that wasn't good. Um, uh, and, you know, your goal for tomorrow is get home. <laughs> get home. Okay, that's good. Uh, my favorite part. What was my favorite part? I don't know. It's all a blur. Pulling in here was pretty awesome. Pulling in here, I had a lot of hope that we were going to be able to go out. Uh, the hotel is amazing. It's huge. It's gorgeous. Um, it seemed like a lot of people were on the street, and it was going to be a really great Friday night. A lot was going on, and then we showered and went downstairs, and there was. The whole place is cleared out. It is though Obama had gone off. Just nobody was anywhere. That's right. Um, Least favorite part, uh, maybe I'll I'll concur with you. Like almost seeing you die was, I was like, (laughs) this can't be happening right now. Uh, I'm glad that didn't happen. Um, And goal for tomorrow is to get home. But my goal is to get home without Jamie knowing about it, so that I can surprise her when she gets home. So, I think if she sees this tomorrow, that might be impossible. Uh, she's not going to see this tomorrow. I got you. Because this is not going to get posted tomorrow. <laughs> but I think I think we're going to be able to sneak in under the wire. I think it'll be okay. Um, shout out to our waitress at the at the Liquid State because she refilled our drinks so well and actually gave me a can of Sprite to take with me because. She couldn't refill my cup fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> and you must have had 16 iced teas while we were there. Yeah, I had quite a few. I might yeah. be still awake here. She for was you. really, really on top of it. So mm-hmm. good job on her. What was her name? Never got it. Never got her name. Nope. Oh, and then we had another waitress this morning that was also filling our drinks extraordinarily well at Denny's called Ray, Rainy. 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 Yep. Rainy. Not. No relation to you, love. Not <laughs> low Rainy. Just <laughs> Rainy. Just Rainy. That's on her birth certificate as rainy yeah um this may be our last one we might have uh, another one maybe tomorrow but this could potentially be the end of the trip right here yeah all right if you have a chance you think about going for a central america slash mexico trip highly recommend it there's there's a lot of good things to see down there we obviously didn't get a chance to see them all but um we definitely wet our whistle and and would go back because yep. they're it's a beautiful country. Yeah, and a lot we of, a lot only, of great people. And we only did the east side. We yeah, have so yeah. much more. There's so much more of that country to do. Yeah. So Siskel and Ebert, thumbs up, thumbs down. You'd say thumbs up for 
for Mexico Central America trip. Two, yeah, that, that, uh, I I really enjoy uh, Central America and now Mexico. I've never been to Mexico, but it all you know the people are, I mean they're just they're so friendly. I mean it's 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 great to go down there and, and interact with those folks and even with us idiots that don't know Spanish, right? You know they they still they work it out. And, they did, and we're able to, you know, get us where we needed to be. Still get us where we needed to go. Get us food when we needed to. Yeah. <laughs> help us yeah. find anything else that we we and had the, to get. The countryside is is phenomenal. I mean, it's just it's it's like you know stepping back in time in some places, and and, and even the the natural um, beauty is it's just impressive. Yeah. So. Very varied, especially when you do the entire country top to bottom. But yeah, several times. <laughs> <laughs> all right good so do it whenever you get a chance yep. all right fantastic see you joe see you